Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can scan for subdomains by recognizing the pattern of the particular target using a tool known as AllDNS. Before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find internal subdomain of a given target uh, using FF, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. Also for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website which is bepractical.tech then you are missing a lot. Just go to your browser and type bepractical.tech and you will, you will be redirected to our awesome website over here. As you can see we have a lot of contents to offer related to cyber security as well as web development and over here if you check go to the cyber security section and if you click over the labs there you will see that we are offering free labs based on account takeovers wherein you will learn that how hackers can actually hack anyone's account by finding the misconfiguration of a particular website so yeah so definitely go ahead and check it out the link is also given in the description and now with that being said let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is we need to clone the all dns repository into our machine so for that you can just click on the link of all dns given in the description or you can just go to a new tab and type all dns alt dns and github right and you need to click on the very first result of the google search as you can see over here so it scans for subdomain using the permutation and uh, combinations right so it is somewhat a little different from the tools that we are using let's say if you are using any tools for uh, subdomain brute forcing let's say uh, gobuster for example or you are doing a passive subdomain enumeration like uh, let's say sublister or subfinder or ms right so let's say you have gathered some uh, subdomains using ms let's say there are 100 subdomains with different names in it right so all dns will try to combine those uh, uh, word list combine those words in your subdomain file right and it will use different type of patterns different patterns different permutations to generate new words right suppose that for example there is a there is a target uh, let's say test.com and there is a subdomain on that target let's say uh, admin.test.com right so there may be a possibility that they are also running something like this admin-test.com right admin-test.com test.com maybe something like this uh, test dash admin uh, dot test.com or maybe test uh, dot admin dot test.com something like this right so there is a, po a possibility in it right so this is what all dns does it tries to uh, use different permutation and patterns to resolve subdomains right so I hope you have understood that how sub, uh, all DNS works. Now let us try to use this tool and how we can clone this tool into our machine. Just copy this and just uh, go to your Kali Linux over here and just clone this file. You can just type git clone and just paste it over here like this. And this file will get cloned, right? And now once we have this file cloned, what we want to do is we want to go to the all DNS folder. Let me just clear it. And over here, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to install this requirements file, right? So let's install this. I just type pip3 install requirements.txt and let me just specify minus r over here. Yeah, and as you can see, the installation has been started. Now, once this file has been installed, what we want to do is we want to go over here, and as you can see, there is also uh, we can use this tool by directly installing pip install.py right or we can just run this setup file over here python3 setup.py minus help and over here as you can see uh if i specify minus h here it is so we can type install right again as you can see there is some issue over here that permission denied why it is showing this because we need to provide sudo over here and if I hit enter now, and as you can see, the installation has been started, right? Let's wait till the installation get completes. Once the installation will get completed, we'll have these many files. As you can see, we've got a lot of files over here. Let's go to build, right? Let's go to test. Nothing here. Let's go to lib. Go to all DNS. And here's the main file. Now let's go back. and let's go to all dns over here this is the main file let us try to run this particular file so we can type python 3 minus minus oh, sorry underscore main pi and as you can see this is how you can use this particular tool 
right so this is the file that we need to run in order to use this particular tool or dns right so let's see how we can uh, use this tool or we can also see whether we've got something in the disk file or not let's see okay we didn't got anything or the second way to install it as we have seen in the repo is to see, simply type pip3 install all dns that's it and again you can see this we got this error let's try to copy this from here let's paste it over here and as you can see all dns has been installed let's try to see whether it is installed and yeah it is indeed installed right so there are two ways to install this particular tool so first one is by manually cloning it and building the file and the second one is to directly use the pip like i've did over here right and you can just use this tool from directly from anywhere in the terminal right or else you need to uh, pass this particular uh, folder into the environment variable right so that you can use it now once we have this file installed what we want is we want to know how we can use this tool right so it's quite simple let's go to the documentation over here and as you can see we, got, we have given a simple example first we need to specify minus i the subdomains file where we have the subdomains then we can specify the output so where we are going to store the output then we are going to use the minus w for the word list from which it is going to generate permutations and combinations then minus r for the resolving we want the only subdomains that are getting resolved and then we want to save those resolved subdomains to a file right so this uh, o will save all the generated permutation to this particular file name whatever you are giving right and this minus s along with minus i is going to save only those subdomains that are resolving to some server right so this is how we can use this tool let's see this in action over here so for example let's say that i want to uh, run this particular tool on my website over here let's say be practical.tech right first we need to gather some subdomains so i'm going to use ms for that so just type ms enum uh, minus minus t let me just get rid of this db practical dot tech minus o and let's save this to subdomain dot txt all right let's save this like this minus v obviously let's hit enter right and now once the scanning gets completed i'll get back to you so as you can see over here the scanning has been completed right and we think we have saved the file as subdomain dot txt right so let us check whether this file contains the subdomains that we have gathered cat subdomain or txt and as you can see we have these subdomains and now let's try to run all dns on this particular subdomain list right let's go and type all dns minus i the subdomains file and minus o where we are going to save the generated data let's say permutated data dot text then we're gonna specify minus w for the words right and then we are also going to check if there are any subdomains from the permutated data that is resolving to any server so minus s server dot txt and now we should be good and this tool will uh, throw the results if everything is fine let's hit enter let's wait for a few seconds and again it totally depends on your internet connection right so if you have a good internet connection then you will see a result quite fast right as you can see there are 4173 uh, generated permutation right uh, based on the pattern right and it has currently looked upon upon 500 of, 500 of them right let's see uh, whether there are any subdomains as you can see we got one over here mail.bpractical.tech which is resolving to this ip address right so let's wait till the scanning gets complete now as we can see over here that we've got a lot more subdomains than we got using ams right because of the patterns that is recognized by this particular all dns tool right and we have also got the resolved ones right so these subdomains are definitely resolving to this ip address right and this is a different ip address and these ones look the same and this is again belongs to a different IP address, right? So let's see how many uh, data it generated. So it has generated around 4,173. If I type ls, and as you can see, here it is the permutated data. Let's see it. Let's see the content. And as you can see, there's a hell lot of uh, subdomains over here, right? And 
in all of these subdomains only those subdomains are uh, resolving to an, uh, an IP address and server right let's see them as well cat server.txt as you can see mail.bpractical.tech cdn.bpractical.tech prod and dev right and if we check the result generated by AMAS and as you can see over here we only got three so we have been able to increase the scope of our target using this particular tool right so this is why using all dns is very important if you are into bug bounty hunting or even if you are doing a normal pest, pen test in a company right so this is how you can use this tool if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel and if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cyber security as well as web development the link is displaying over here and it is also given in the description also for those who like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers wherein you will learn that how hackers can hack uh, dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that can hack anyone's account without the victim's interaction and the second course is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you will learn that how hackers can actually create their own custom malwares that can be used to hack any um, windows machine that can bypass any antivirus that can execute system commands upload and download files and so many things uh, and that can even access the webcam as well right so definitely go ahead and check it out if you want to and with that being said again if you have any doubts feel free to let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching and keep learning